So I was listening to a little bit more of, from uh, Chief uh, Langley of the Uchi Indians. And uh, he said to go check out the ghost dance, right? And he said to compare the ghost dance to the Holy Ghost dance done by the, um, uh, well, I forget what denomination it was. It was, but it was one of the uh, earlier church denominations brought to North America. And it's not because of the denomination the dances were similar. It was because the Indians were forced to, you know, become Christians. And we kind of looked that over in the past. We, you know, because of Lex, you know, I found out about the dumb diverses. And from there, you start looking at other paper, you know, bulls that were written. And you find out about the new blood. And you find out that all Hebrews and uh, it says Hebrews and Moors were supposed to be either killed or converted. So we see that same kind of, you know, process done to the North American Indians, which we know that Indians comes from Christopher Columbus. Um, his diary, meaning Indos, or Los Indos, God's people. So... We know that Indians just meant God's people, and here they are, you know, doing the, you know, being captured by, you know, Catholicism. So I put this together, this picture here. I posted it on Google Plus. You can find it there. But yeah, I I, I wanted to bring that up because I thought, you know, through some of the pictures is eerie uh, similar, you know. And, and of course, they claim this is from the Dakotas, the, the Black Hills. And that's something I've still been trying to figure this out. Because ever since I've heard that title, the Black Hills of, of North Dakota, you got to really sit back and wonder, you know, whose hills, whose hills were they and what, what in purpose did they serve? Um, because, like, uh, I, I tried to find the video. I've seen it a while back. There was this one where... Um, the native, uh, the people they call Native Americans were upset, you know, about the land and how, you know, white America was taking more and more of their land. And the one guy mentioned that there was a, a contract. The one Native American dude mentioned that there was a contract put in place for him to hold that land. And I tried to search around on Google if I could find a, you know, South, South Dakota or North Dakota Black Hill contract, and I couldn't find it. You know, of course, you run across interesting stuff like the the Bear Claw Mountain and stuff like that in, in caves and canyons. But I couldn't find anything about a contract that the you know United States had signed with the you know, Lakota, Lakotas for that land. So I just think that's interesting because I just really doubted that they called them the Black Hills and yet the, the people they called Redmen were there, you know?